Hey guys, I'm Adriana Natalia and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the things that you need to consider before you join SAG-AFTRA. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. So let's get started. You have your vouchers. You have your Taft Hartley. Congratulations, you are now eligible to join the SAG after union. However, there are first a few things that you want to consider before you go ahead and sign. The first thing that you want to consider is your finances. SAG after costs about $3,000 to join. Now this is a one-time initiation fee, however that is a good amount of money for most people. So some people choose to save that money ahead of time and wait to join until they have that full amount, or you can get a loan. Now there is a SAG after credit union that you can join and they give out loans, especially for the initiation fee for SAG AFTRA. Um, or you can do what I did, which is like a combination of both. I had saved up some money and then got a smaller loan through the SAG after credit union and pay that off as soon as possible. Now the reason why I did this is because I wanted to avoid paying you know, large amounts of interest on this loan. So if you're looking to save money, that's a great way to do it. The other big thing that you're gonna wanna consider, and probably the most important thing that you wanna consider before joining SAG after is where your career is at right now and what your resume looks like right now. If you are just getting started, or if you've been working in community theater and you know some web series and some shorts, maybe even like a feature film, if it's all been non-union and all have been like independent films and shorts and community theater, if it's been that type of stuff, you're gonna wanna hold off. Now, the reason for this is because once you join SAG after, you're in a whole nother level of talent. Not only will you no longer be able to do those non-union projects, which could stop you from working for a bit, also you're going to be up against other actors who have larger resumes, resumes with co-star roles or higher on well-known television shows and films. This means when agents are looking at you or casting directors are looking at you, you're actually at a disadvantage if you are union because you don't have the credits that the SAG after members have. So you could actually be doing a disservice to your career by joining SAG after too soon. Now the good thing is that once you're eligible for SAG after, it looks great to both the talent agents and managers and casting directors, and you can hold off and continue doing non-union work as well as going out for union auditions. It's a good middle ground, and you can wait until you are what they call forced to join, which usually means when you get hired to do a second union project. But that's a great place to be and something I definitely recommend. So those are all my tips about what you need to consider before you join sag After. If you like what you saw or have any questions, write those down in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos like this.